You know, if you're if you're a real movie buff, whether it be horror or whatever, right here, you had to have seen this movie. You know, Poltergeist. <laughs> if you the skeletons, on. the oatmeal pool. Come on, come on, Carolyn. And it's been on TV. Like Pangina. if you haven't seen this, you need to you need to see stop. it. Stop, stop right now. Go watch it and then come back to this review because we have you know stuff we want to tell you. It's on Tubi right now yeah, for free. For free. So yeah. watch it and then come back. We don't want to tell you some of the good stuff in here. Yeah, it's on other sites too for three ninety nine. But Tubi has it for free. Shame on you if you haven't seen Poltergeist. Shame. And not the new version head. that came out a few years ago. We're talking about the nineteen eighty two classic Poltergeist. Let's yes. Let's talk about who's in Poltergeist and why is it in their house. All right. Okay. And what happens? If you move into a house that was built on a cemetery. See? And that's why people Would you do that? Houses that are built on Native American cemetery. Would it's you do that? Karma. Except it happened to the wrong family. Yeah. Darn it, it should have went to the developers. I mean, they didn't know though. But yeah, if I knew, if I was aware that there was a cemetery there and now they built some houses and they're like, hey. On ancient grounds. Mm-mm. Not going to so do it. Is in here? Not All right, let's just talk about protocol. This is one of my, um, I love, this is one of my favorite classics too by the way okay well this one starts joe beth williams mm-hmm. as diane freeling the mm-hmm. mom the mom craig t nelson as steve freeling you know what he's been acting for a very very long time he had his own show yep. called coach yep i used to watch that sometimes um yep. it came on free tv and i will watch it that was actually a pretty good show yeah but he's he's still acting okay yes he is okay. um heather o'rourke Got Carol she Ann. played carol ann mm-hmm. that's how i like to say her name all the time i can't help it but okay <laughs> Dominique Dinah's Dana Freeling. She was the, the sister. older sister. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oliver Robbins as Robbie Freeling. He did so great. That little boy did so fantastic in this yeah. movie. Yeah. With the creepy stuff that was happening to him. He hasn't acted that much, but he's in something that's coming out this year. That would be great. So, he was great yeah. as a kid. Okay. Yeah. Zelda Rubenstein as Tangina. Uh, that's Carol Ann. Go to the Carol Ann. Little short little lady with that little go lady. to the light. I thought you said not to go to the light. Go to the oh, light. Oh god! And we're rounding it out with Richard Lawson. That's Miss Tina Lawson Knowles' husband. Mm-hmm. He's, but he's been, been, been acting forever. since way before they got together. Yeah. But yeah, and it's funny because when I rewatch this, I'm like, hey, they're gonna Beyonce's stepdad. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. Duh. Yeah. So what's going on? So this Pop family on. moves into a new house. Yeah. And it is terrorized by ghosts, but they don't know what was going on with this house. They don't know that this was built on ancient ground. Right. They, 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 they F around and find out. They, well, they F around and found out, <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> yeah. So it takes little Carolyn into this other dimension. Because she has the light. She has the light. And they want the light. And all they can do, they can hear her, but they can't see where she's at. And they can't figure out where I can hear her own and I can smell her. I can smell her, but why can't we touch her? Where is she at? We need to get somebody in here. Because those ghosts were hearing her, yeah. smelling her, and seeing her light, and yeah. they wanted it. So they're like, we need to get somebody in here that can help with this. So this is where um, Tangina and her crew come in at. Right. And try to get Carol Ann to come to the light so they can get her out. Because this is just like bizarre. They're seeing stuff going haywire on TV. The little boy is getting tortured in his room by clowns and trees. By the way, I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm not scared of clowns, <laughs> but I'm scared of that one. Even when I watch it now. When the tree came alive in his room, that used to make me so scared. Even watching it now, they actually did really good with that. Yeah, for that to be 1982. Oh, could you imagine what they could do in 2022? Woo! Oh my gosh. Well, they made another Poltergeist and it was absolutely terrible. I know. So don't watch the newer version that came out If they years had ago. a really good script or even if they, ah, oh, I hate when they, they remake movies. They didn't even if bring Tangina re- back. If that they, doesn't make sense. Yeah, if Steven Spielberg remade this one and didn't change too much, other than that would of be course great. the actors, and just kind of updated it. That would be a great idea. That would be interesting. And Craig T. Nelson, I know he could, he's still around, and uh, I'm not sure about Joe He'd back. probably have to play Pop-Pop, though. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> be Pop-Pop. Pop. Um, <laughs> Zelda passed away. Yep. And then we also know Karen Dominique Ann. passed Dom- away. Yeah. Heather O'Rourke passed away. Yeah. Yeah. So this movie, people call it one of the cursed movies because of all the people... Who that died? I don't hear. Because then some other crew died or something. So yeah, so know. Carol Ann died. It was some kind of I want to say autoimmune, but don't quote me on that. But she died of something like that. She, um, I'll tell you. Okay, well, Dominique Dunn, Dana Freeling, and mm-hmm. Heather O'Rourke, Carol Ann Freeling, are buried in the same cemetery, Westwood Memorial Park in Los Aww. Angeles. On October thirtieth, nineteen eighty two, Dunn was strangled by her ex boyfriend in the driveway of her West Hollywood home. Mm-hmm. 
She died on November 4th at the age of 22, mm. having never regained consciousness. Consciousness. Mm. On February 1st, 1988, O'Rourke died of intestinal stenosis at the age of 12. Yeah, she, she had got misdiagnosed. Yeah, because they said she terrible. had Crohn's disease yeah. and she suffered a cardiac arrest. That was just terrible. So, so in that, and the sister, the one you're talking about um, that plays her sister, Dominique Dunn, yeah. that wasn't his first time trying to kill her. No. He really should have been locked up. I don't know why he what, wasn't locked up. Yeah. Because that was a, he was successful, obviously, a second time. Do you know he only spent a short amount of time in jail? I was crazy. blown away. They said away. that he beat her so bad in the face that when she was on another TV show mm-hmm. and she had to play a victim, mm-hmm. they didn't even have to put makeup, makeup on her. That's, that's awful. And um, I still, to this day, do not understand how that man got out when he did. He, he barely got a slap on the wrist. It was just, like, appalling. I, there are stuff I still don't get, but... I don't get but this movie is in the part two. So we, this, this is part one we're talking about. But in part two is where we get Reverend Kane, mm-hmm. who is in my top three scariest Light. horror characters ever singing that song. God is in his holy temple. Temple. Listen, he had <laughs> cancer. So they barely had to put any makeup on his face because he was already very sick. Mm-hmm. This is in part two. So there's another death there. And then the, one of the Native Americans also died as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. So you got what, five people? That all least. died in a very short amount of time around each other. And they were all just like bizarre stuff. Yeah. So it, yeah, I had to call it a curse movie. But don't just... Part two, you want to see it for Reverend Kane. If you're still new and you haven't watched this yet, you got to see part two because you, you need see to it. know who Reverend Kane is. He's a classics. He might haunt your nightmares. You know how you're talking about? You, you're talking about the clown and stuff? Yeah. The clown, yeah. yeah. So both of that the terrors live. that plague Robbie mm-hmm. came from Steven Spielberg's own fears as a child, <laughs> a fear of clowns and a tree outside his window. See, as a kid, you see a tree and then it turns night and you think, yep. is it a monster? Because the shadows <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. He made that scene very, very vivid. You know what stuck in my mind is how they were teaching them how to count like in between the the thunder and mm-hmm. the lightning strikes mm-hmm. yeah yeah that, that, that he did very well with that scene mm-hmm. and like you said it would probably be really super fantastic if he redid this it just didn't change yeah don't you know? change too much change if you're gonna much. do it yes just stick to it just update it mm-hmm. just update it to you know today's cgi yeah. standards and the one that they read the renew not only did they not have a tangina but they had Carol Ann kind of like a little silly black. Uh, sometimes she seemed like she was a possessed little airhead. It just didn't even make sense. Yeah. I'm like, this is absolutely horrible. I wish I never watched it. Okay. Now let's talk about the swimming pool scene where all the skeletons come up and now they're about to find out. Now they're about to F around to find out. <laughs> <laughs> what all this, what, what's really what it, why all this is happening. So all these skeletons come up. There's a swimming pool scene. Yeah. The mom. And they're real human skeletons. They like, didn't tell. The, oh my god! <laughs> they didn't tell Joe Beth Williams that until after she filmed that scene, because they felt like she probably wouldn't have done it. But it was like too expensive to get fake ones, so they used real <laughs> human <laughs> some... <laughs> That's crazy. That's probably why some people. No, I don't want to. I'm not gonna. Dude, I know what you're gonna say, but let's not put but it out there. with people's say. skeletons and stuff. Yeah. I, mean, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. <laughs> like where they do that at? Who yeah, that, that that is really creepy. That's very creepy, actually. Did you know that Drew Barrymore was considered for the role of, of Carol Ann? She could have played it. Yeah. She was fire but starter. Remember, she, she he said was it, a child. He said that he wanted a child that was a little bit more angelic. Okay. And she was, you know, tough. So, But he yeah. put her in E.T. that same year, and mm-hmm. they both did well. So Very well. Very, but E.T. might have done just a little bit better. Yeah. but E.T.'s a classic. Cause we had to yeah. do that one day. Yeah. Okay. But, so she wasn't upset. She's not, she didn't miss out on nothing. No. Not at all. But they both came out in 1982. Okay. Where it, were you in 1982? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the Spielberg summer. So the magazines and Newsweek tagged the summer of 1982 as the Spielberg summer. Yeah. Because that's what I said. E.T. came out. No yeah, release. and Poltergeist. And Poltergeist. Yeah. We love Steven Spielberg. Yeah, we do. Freaking love him. Delivers mm-hmm. great work. Let me just remind you one more time. That clown and that tree scene still scare me everybody i know was scared of that scene <laughs> it was so it, just realistic i'm like oh my god oh, arms arms were just oh yeah that that was creepy and the thing moving around like he's like <laughs> little robbie was... <laughs> <laughs> why are we laughing this? So because it's 1982 we're safe now we're safe he, he was he was so good now he was very Dang it, i just said that out loud and thought about it i really didn't think about it before 40 years ago 
Wow. That's 40 years ago. And when he, when Craig T. Nelson was on a uh, coach, uh, he ages very nicely. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and talk about being in the game forever, being in some memorable stuff where people actually know your name. Yeah. So we want to thank you very, very much for tuning in to our classic review of the classic, classic, classic Poltergeist. Let us know if you've yes. seen it. And Reach out. Two. You got it. Were you scared two. of that clown scene too, yep. as much as she was they were. in the tree? You were. You were. They were. <laughs> they all were. I know it. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to pull us up. We're on Facebook. Uh huh. YouTube. Yep. Instagram. That's right. Cash App. Mm hmm. And we're on the FearCon Network. So just go to Connect to Your City. You'll click on the Fear Con tab, and there you will see all of our reviews. Anything that has to do with horror or thrillers, you'll see all of our content there. And don't forget, we take requests. Whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, reach out to us. Tell us what you want us to review. We will review that movie and then give you a shout out on the show. And we Let take donations. <laughs> Hit us it's up on Cash App. That's on my flow. Okay. Gotta be real. <laughs> God, you, she has on my flow. Just, we're just going to go. But thank you for tuning in tomorrow, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Money sign, gotta be real. All right. <laughs>